What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about one tip that can make working at angles other than right angles in SketchUp a lot easier. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this morning, I was modeling out this fire escape model, and um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to add a simple rail to this fire escape. And I thought it wouldn't really be that hard because there's not a lot to rails on fire escapes. So basically what they are is they are a rail that goes up, I'm just going to draw an edge right here. And this is me basically just getting the slope with a line. So instead of me having to figure out math or anything like that, I'm just going to draw a line right here. And then I'll draw a line across from this point over here to this point. But what I want to do is I'm going to draw a circle over here. And I want this to be a one inch tube. So I'll just draw a one inch line and then draw a circle like this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the follow me tool in order to make this follow along with this path, right? So you select your path, you activate the follow me tool by clicking right here, and you click on the surface. So that's pretty easy. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in a group just for right now. So that's really not that hard to do at all, right? You just draw the line and then extrude the circle. But the other thing I need to do is I need to have a central support line. It needs to run from the middle of this edge right here through the middle of this edge right here. And so I'm just gonna draw a line like this. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna draw a circle that's gonna follow along with this line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the same thing right here, but the problem is um, I can't with the native tools make this circle follow along with the angle right here. So getting it to follow along just isn't really doing what I want it to do, right? No matter which one of the keys I press, it's just not really doing it. But there's a trick in here where you can use the axis tool in order to make this align with this edge so that you can push pull along it. So what I wanna do, so I just wanna come in here, click on my axes tool right here, and I wanna click on this point in order to set my new axes, and then just align my axes with this line. So now what I've got is I've got a new set of model axes that are aligned with that point. Well, what that means is that means that the inferencing in here has changed. So now if I tap the C key, I'm gonna tap the left or right arrow key. Notice how now this is inferencing to the new axis direction that was in here. So instead of going straight up and down, it's actually treating this green as if it's the down right here. So what that means is that means that now I can tap the left arrow key or the right arrow key in order to lock this to the red axis, which has been changed. Well, now this is aligned with that axis. Well, the other thing that means is that means that now when I come in here and push pull it, it's gonna push pull along the new red axis, which is right here. So what that means is that means I can now push pull it in the direction that I want it to go right here. So I'm just gonna push pull this through the center of this pipe right here and we're good to go. And then once you're done, if you're worried about getting your inferencing back, you can just right click on the axis line and click on reset and it'll put your axes back where they were when you first start. So I'm gonna to link to another video on this page that talks about some more axis tips. Um, there's a ton of stuff you can actually do by changing the model axes. In addition, if you do wanna learn how to use SketchUp more in depth, the SketchUp Essentials course is on sale through the end of the week. I will link to that on this page as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.